Hello, art friends. This is Miss Joyce from the Creative Kids Art Bus. That's right. Artie the Art Bus and I are about to get creative with you. Let's go. Hello, hello, everybody. A very big welcome to you. It's Miss Joyce with the Creative Kids Art Bus. Some of you may have seen me drive around in my bus. Looks kind of maybe colorful, just like an art studio would. Definitely. Today, we are going to be doing something really cool. We're going to be celebrating Canada Day right within your living room. I know that it's been tough being safe and staying indoors, but you have all been doing a very good job. And guess what? What's even better is we get to spend some Canada Day doing some sketching. That's right. So all you need is a pencil and a piece of paper. And maybe, just maybe, Afterwards, what we'll do is we'll get our crayons and we'll get our markers and I'll give you a chance for some colors. That's right. Put your hands up if your favorite color is red. Put your hands up if your favorite color is pink. Put your hands up if you know all the three primary colors. What are they? What was that? The three primary colors are... Red, blue, yellow. That's right. Just like my background, right? Well, happy Canada Day, my art friends. Let's get started. Our Canadian beaver is very symbolic of Canada, and we've seen maybe a few. I don't know if any of my art friends like you have seen a Canadian beaver before, but we will be able to learn how to draw the Canadian beaver and maybe uh, an acorn just on the side um, as acorns are also very representative of Canada. So happy Canada Day to you. Uh, and let's start by sketching out a Canadian beaver. I learned how to draw this Canadian beaver um, by some of my favorite artists. So. I will teach you how to do the same. So the first thing you're gonna need to do, and for the sake of the camera, I will be using um, a thicker black marker so that you're able to watch the drawing as well. Now I know that Miss Joyce's uh, uh, area is full of nice goodies over here. So it's always quite entertaining when you're in Miss Joyce's art studio because I've always got some sort of paint or soil from making flower pots or something going on. So it's very creative in here, but let's um, see what we can do with you. Are you ready? Good stuff. So we're gonna start off by drawing a big circle in the middle of our paper. So a big circle, and that's gonna be his nose. And inside this circle, you're going to give me um, almost like a bent hot dog shape. Good stuff. Now you're going to want to create a line, almost pretending you're going in the middle. And give me a line just under his nose. And then we're going to use that line. And we're going to create... A cute little mouth and then underneath this line we're going to create his teeth so we're gonna go one more line down and across and up and across and up just like that wonderful now on top of his nose we're gonna do um, two small circles just one a little like that and two a little bit wider I'm gonna make some silly eyes here and we're just gonna start by doing this very very um, basic outline and then we're gonna go back in afterwards we're gonna color it up we're gonna have a little bit more fun with it okay Wonderful. So I'm going to give you a moment just to catch up with what we are doing 
in this area here. So we've got our nose. We drew a little hot dog here, almost like a hot dog. And we've gone to the middle of his nose. We created a line just in the middle underneath his nose. And from that line, we kind of did two curves with two small curves at the end for his mouth. And then underneath that, we're going to do his buck teeth. Beavers have these teeth and they're very, very well known for chewing through wood. So these teeth are very strong because they will need to do that. We went back up to the top of his nose to create his eye. Now you could do it any size you want. I know that I went a little bigger there. We like to shade it in and it's okay if you make a mistake. It is your own cartoon beaver that we are drawing. So we're gonna make them very animated and fun for Canada Day. So we've got our two eyes. I'm gonna color in those pupils. Now from where the eyes are, we are going to draw his cheeks. Paying attention to these cheeks is very important. So from the outside of the eye, we are gonna go all the way around to the outside of his mouth. And it's okay, give him big cheeks, right? If you can make them the same size, great. If you can't and one's bigger than the other, that's okay too. So we've got big cheeks right there. And then when you have those done, we're going to, from the cheeks and the eyes, I wanna create his little ears. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna go again like that. And on the other side as well, we're gonna go like that and give him some cute inside of ears. He's a really cute beaver, I know. All right, and then in the middle, in between his ears, let's give him some funky, funky hair. So let's go like, maybe we'll do a little bit of, um, oh, I don't know. There we go. We give him some funky hair. <laughs> awesome. And then we're going to go under his teeth you give him a little bit of a chin and then so that will be the starting point from where we're going to be working on the bottom half of our beaver so with his chin in place you're going to go to the middle of his chin and we're going to draw a line down almost like he's going to be sitting so we're going to draw a line down and again i want to go this way and up and then this way and up, creating like almost like a fish hook on either side. Now from the outside of his cheek, just over here, we're gonna go like this and like this. And then from the outside of his cheek again, we're gonna go like this and like this, almost making his feet. And then again, from here, I want to go, and then I want to just give him a little bit of more legs. So there's his feet. Looks like he's sitting, right? And then on this side here, um, our beavers are very distinctive of their tails. So we're going to go from here. And we're gonna give him his tail. Now inside his tail, how you're gonna do his tail is you're just gonna, if you were to ever see a beaver's tail, it's almost like that. We actually in Canada have a dessert called beaver tails. I don't know if any of our friends have had that before. Um, so that's a very, very yummy dessert that Miss Joyce absolutely loves. And, um, I frequently get it whenever I go to 
you know, carnivals or festivals. So I know that we would usually be having a great Canada Day festival at Milne Park and we would be able to get most of our goodies from there. But, you know, this year we're going to just have to do things virtually to stay safe. And I thought that drawing our beaver would give us an opportunity to do that together. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to at least take this time now. If you've done it in pencil, great. I want you to go and get yourself a black marker and I want you to draw um, and outline a little bit more of where your beaver is uh, and maybe just give him a little bit of a, a more um, bolder ear if you want. Uh, maybe bold up his hair, right? Okay, he's got some serious hair there, right? And then his nose, what I'd like you to do is maybe go ahead and color the inside of his nose. Bring the animation to life, does it not? Now, you, I know I got you to draw a little bit of a, a hot dog nose there. That's for um, a light accent, so a shading accent, so that when you're trying to color in the nose and you notice that uh, there's a light area here that you did with the hot dog that I asked you to draw. I don't know why I keep saying hot dog, to be honest. I, I guess I really enjoy um, having a hot dog when I go to these festivals. Um, anybody else enjoy having a hot dog or a corn on the cob maybe, right? Corn on the cob is fun tasty, a lot of butter, a lot of salt maybe, right? Um, some of the other things that we've had aside from the beaver tails and hot dogs and corn on the cob, I don't know. I've, oh, has anyone had maple syrup on a stick? Oh my goodness. That is an amazing Canadian treat. Maple syrup, it turns hard. It's like candy. And you have it on a stick. Um, I know that we all love our maple syrups with our pancakes, right? So it's almost the same. Um, but in Canada, we should be very proud of our, our maple syrup because, hey, guess what? Maple leaf, maple syrup, right? I don't know if anybody actually attempted to draw the, the Canadian flag um, that we did in, in the beginner's video. Uh, but if not, you could find that video and actually give a go at it yourself. So just coloring in the nose, bringing that really cool nose to life. And do you notice that little hot dog area that we did just enhances the nose and brings the cartoon to life. So um, what you can do next is, of course, uh, you could go in and maybe amp, amp up the chin uh, maybe connect your dots, give his body a little bit more bold lines on just the inner body part. Okay. Um, it's a lot of fun and shading is very important. So you want to shade, you want to maybe go back over that tail. And by going back over the tail, you're going to notice your lines didn't meet. Well, what you could do is then color in the area where your lines didn't meet and you've got a little bit of an empty open space there. I like doing that a lot, even when I write my name. And I find that if I do it again and I go over and I've got another open line and I color it in, it just gives it a lot more definition. So there you go. Now, if I went a little too fast for you, the beauty about having a pre-recorded video is you can always go back and record and press pause or I mean play and press pause and attempt to draw the beaver at your own pace. Now, if you want to attempt to do this acorn, you're going to do a nice little uh, almost like we're drawing an eye, 
right? And then you're going to go down and give it a point. Go down and give it a point again. I know that squirrels like acorns, but, um, and beavers like wood. So I know that here is your acorn and you can. Give it a little animated acorn. Uh, or maybe you want to give him a, a stick, a piece of wood. That's great too. Maybe you want to draw a tree. Maybe you want to put a little hole in it. Maybe you want to have a squirrel sticking out. It's totally up to you. But if you have your colors nearby, my art friends, you could totally go ahead and create a scene and um, fill up that Canadian scene with your Canadian beaver. You did an amazing job. Thank you so much for watching. And stay tuned as we do some more sketches with you. Markham, thank you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful Canada day.